Hey guys, so today is a very, very exciting video. Um, today's video is going to be the announcement of the gender of our baby. So I am super excited to finally know for sure and be able to share that with my family and my friends and of course with you guys. So. I will show you guys, I have a onesie here, so on the count of three, I am going to bring up the onesie um, so you can see if it's a boy or a girl, and um, I'll go into kind of how we found out and the story of it and stuff like that um, and all that stuff. So yeah, let's just see what we're having. Um, I'm going to count down, okay? Three, two, one. It's a girl! <laughs> I'm having a baby girl! <laughs> I'm so, so excited. I, you guys know, I thought for sure, hands down, that I was having a boy. I said boy from the very beginning. I referred to my belly as he, and the baby as he. And I, like the entire time, I just thought that it was a boy. And I think the reason I thought it was a boy is because my husband's side is primarily boys. His father is one of five boys. Colin is one of three boys. And there's more boy cousins than girl cousins. So there's kind of like a, the running joke that like all the Hutterers are, that's his last name, Hutterer, and my last name now. Um, they're all boys. So I guess I just kind of assumed that that would be the case for us and that we would be having a baby boy first. But we're having a girl, a little girl, and I'm so excited. I did go ahead and buy her some stuff because Carter's was having like this massive sale. Um, and my mom and I went and just so went a little crazy. So um, I got her some really cute stuff that I will show you guys um, in another video. But basically, how we found out, oh, and first of all, so we went to my 20 week ultrasound appointment to find out if it was a boy or a girl. So what happened was um so i don't know if you guys know but whenever you go for your ultrasound you you have to drink about 32 ounces of water and for anybody let alone a pregnant woman that is a lot of water to drink so my bladder sorry my hair's bugging me it's kind of a mess day so my bladder was super full and my mom was like don't worry they'll take you in right away well no they did not take me in right away. They took me in like 20 minutes after my appointment. So I'm sitting in the hospital with Colin beside me and I'm just like, I have to pee so bad. I have to pee so bad. And it was like five minutes to my appointment. He's like, oh, just wait, just wait. And I was like, I can't, like I'm gonna pee. So a total of like three times, I had to go around the corner to the washroom and I had to use the washroom. I had to let a little bit out. I probably let out about three Mississippi's worth and I thought oh that might be a little too much but I had to do that three times before my appointment so finally at like 20 after she calls me in and she told Colin to wait because um, the first half an hour she doesn't really show me or my your husband uh, my husband the um, the baby or the ultrasound or anything she just kind of does her thing and she's talking to me and stuff and I'm just staring at the ceiling and blah 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 and anyway so I go in and I'm like I have to pee so bad I'm like can I go really quick and she's like well let me just get you on the table it'll take two seconds just to look and then I'll let you go so she did and then that let me tell you was the longest pee of my entire life it was like the longest pee ever so I went to the washroom I came out like I'm not kidding like five minutes later it was that long and I laid down and so the half an hour was just kind of she's putting the goo on me which is actually warm which I was pleasantly surprised it felt really nice and she's like so is this your first I said yeah it's the first baby and she's like did you want to find out the gender today and I was like yeah I really want to find out I said although I'm pretty sure it's a boy and she's like oh okay like yeah I'm just gonna like look around here so I kind of stayed quiet because she was obviously concentrating on her job and whatever so she's looking around what in the hell is my seriously so she was like looking around at the baby and stuff like that um, and then she's like okay I need you to turn on your left side so I turned on my left side and turn on your right so I did that and then she was like okay so I have pretty much everything I need she's like I just I need her to switch positions so I can get a better look at her heart so maybe if you get up and go and tell your husband that he can come in now 
so I went out to the lobby and Colin's looking at me like so like do you know and I was like no no, no I don't know yet she's just gonna she because she wanted to wait I guess till um, like we were together so um, I go and get Colin and then we lie I lie back down and then she turns the screen to us and she's like okay and then she starts showing us the baby which was so cool and at 20 weeks it looks like a little baby like it doesn't look like alieny or like funny like it looks like a little baby so she's like so here are the little feet and the little feet were so cute they're just like this and they looked like little feet and they're so cute and then we saw the spine which was really cool because like the x the x-ray but like the ultrasound lights up the spine so you could see like her whole spine so she was sleeping at the time and not really wanting to move so I think she's gonna have my personality already um, but she was facing with her um, her face to my back so she was on her side she had one hand up like this kind of sleeping on her side but her face was to the back so she showed us the brain, she said her heart beats 100, well before she said her, she said the heart beats 152 beats per minute which is normal and it's healthy and she said see that's like the stomach and there's like the fluid in the stomach and that's good and there's the fluid in the bladder and that's good and da 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 and then she's like as far as I can see everything looks good, everything looks normal, she said I've got a couple pictures of the heart but she's not really cooperating in terms of like her movement so don't be alarmed if you get called back for another ultrasound I'm gonna see if the doctors um, if it's enough for them to decide if like everything's fine or they might want some more pictures don't be alarmed like just you might have to come back but you might not so she's like whatever so then she's like I think I at that point said something like oh like he's he's healthy or he's whatever and she's quiet for a second and then she's like so she's like I'm gonna check again but I'm thinking it's a girl and I was so I was lying down and I literally was like <laughs> like went like that and looked at Colin and we looked at each other and I went it's a girl and I started to cry like I was just like oh my god it's a girl so I started to cry and she goes, yeah, like she's like, I've checked a couple of times. I'm just going to check one more time. And she goes, the only reason I keep checking is because you said you thought it was a boy. And usually, you know, the mother's intuition is correct. So um, she's like, I'll check again, but I'll show you on the screen. So she checked again and she said, no, this is a girl. And um, she showed like his the the little one, little miss, she had her legs like <laughs> like this. She, it was like the perfect position for you to see if it was a boy or a girl. So um you could just see, and if you look it up on Google, um, 20 week ultrasound, girl versus boy, the boy part's very obvious. It's like a full, like solid little lump, and then you can see like the testicles and the, um, like the scrotum. And with her, there was like, I was looking at it, I'm like, yeah, there's no penis there. <laughs> like there's just a little, like a little tiny, like, whoop, whoop, like two little, like, her lips right like you're a girl we know like they're just her two little lips and I was just like oh my god like it's a girl so I was so we were shocked <laughs> like absolutely shocked and I said to her I'm like so I should probably change my registry around to girl stuff and she's like yeah I would <laughs> so I am so so excited that we're having a little girl Colin and I the rest of the day we're just like oh my god it's a girl oh my god it's a girl um, and then on the way home I had a couple names in mind. I kind of knew what I wanted to name her, but I wasn't sure if Colin was 100% on board. So um, I will tell you guys the name as well because I'm so excited. I can't wait. So um, originally, we both in the car thought um, Charlotte because I think it's a really pretty name. It's really feminine. But the whole day, I was kind of, uh, it's not right. Like, it's just, it, the name wasn't sitting right with me. And I'm not really sure why it just wasn't sitting right and I was just kind of like I said to call and I said look This is really kind of bothering me. I'm like, she's not a Charlotte. I'm like, I really like this name Can we please do this name for her? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. And I was like, but I thought you didn't like it He's like, no, I don't not like it. I just wasn't nuts about it But no, actually it's kind of cute. So no, don't worry if that's what you want her name to be Then we'll name her that and I'm happy with it. And I was like, really? You're okay. He's like, yeah, yeah, totally so I'm gonna put her name across the screen
So yes, we are naming our little girl Blake Audrey Hutterer. And the reason that I decided on Blake is because First of all, I didn't want anything too girly, too, like she's going to be a girly girl, but I didn't want anything too girly or too frilly. I wanted something kind of unique, but not like blanket or something like crazy. And I love, I was watching TV the other day and I saw a commercial with Blake Lively and I just thought she is so beautiful. And I was like, Blake, I'm like, that's a really like unique, but pretty name for a girl. And ever since then, I was like, Blake, I'm like, that sounds so good. So um, we're not going to spell it B-L-A-Y-K-E. It's going to be B-L-A-K-E. So just like the boy spelling. And I don't know any other Blakes. Other than Blake Lively, I literally don't know any other person, child, baby, what have you, named Blake. Like I just, I sorry, this curl's bugging me. I just don't. So I love that it's unique and I can just picture like a blue eyed blonde little girl because I'm blue eyes and have blonde hair calling blue eyes blonde hair. Um, so just a little girl named Blake that's like oh, I'm just I'm so excited. Now Audrey is her middle name because that was my grandmother's name so my mom's mom and I was incredibly close with her very, very close with her. We had a very strong relationship. Um, she was a big part of my life and obviously my mom's life. And um, I just wanted to honor her any way that I could. And this way I can tell Blake, like you were named after your grand your great grandmother, um, who this, this, and this. And like, it's just, it's nice to kind of honor my grandmother that way. So that's why we decided on Blake Audrey and I just thought that the masculine masculine masculinity masculine the more you know what I'm trying to say the masculineness of her name paired with Audrey which is pretty feminine um, I thought it was really pretty and I our last name's Hutterer which is Austrian so I thought Blake Audrey Hutterer was just so cute so that's her name I do have my ultrasound pictures here. I don't know how well that's coming up, but um, that's her head. That's her head, right? Yeah, that's her head. She's looking at the camera and that's her little body and that's a little hand. And Colin and I and my mom and I are both looking at this and I'm like, she has my face shape. Like that is me. <laughs> like that is what I looked like when I was a baby. And some people might say, oh, at 20 weeks, like it's gonna change, blah, blah, blah. No, like I have talked to a couple of women at my work that have recently had babies and they said, no, we have the 20 week ultrasound pictures and we compared them when our son or daughter was born and it's like the same. <laughs> so like she has my forehead <laughs> and she has like my face shape. Like she's oval where Colin is more square. Like he's got the square, like manly jaw. Um, and he's more wide she like she looks like a girl even in these pictures like she's got my forehead and she's just oval she's got like her cheeks and then she comes down like this like me so I'm really really excited I literally you guys I I mean you know I was excited for a boy very much so but now that I know I'm having a girl, I am like I have been on cloud nine since I found out that I'm having a baby girl. And I think it's because I've just always wanted a girl. I still want a boy, but I've always wanted a girl. And I feel like now that my first is a girl, I can kind of like breathe and relax for the next couple because I'm more like, oh, I've, I've got my girl. So like, I'm OK. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, I just I have such a good relationship with my mom that I wanted a daughter to be like my best friend for life just like my mom's my best friend for life and I am also a huge daddy's girl so I really wanted Colin to be able to experience what it's like having a baby girl because there's all boys in his family he doesn't even have like a younger he never had a younger sister he has younger cousins but they're like 20 years younger than him so he never had that protectiveness over a little girl so this time <laughs> he's in for like a rude awakening because she is gonna and I've already said to him I'm like she's gonna have you wrapped around her little finger so we are so so excited please be respectful um, of her name if you guys don't like it that's totally fine like I know you know you could be the ripest peach in the world not everyone's gonna like peaches totally fine if you don't like it keep that to yourself um, but I we are so in love with her name and I can just picture 
Like, I even think, like, I could be named Blake. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I can just picture her as a Blake. And we're gonna... We've already nicknamed her. Colin calls her a Little Miss. So when he comes home from work, he'll be like, he'll say, Hi, babe, to me. And then he'll go, Hi, Little Miss. So we're already calling her a Little Miss, Blake, Blakey, um, Miss B, Little B. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited that we're having a girl. And I've got to go because I'm going to film my baby girl clothing haul. So you guys will see that um, fairly soon. But yeah, if you want to see like the official announcement picture, it's up on my Instagram, which is Lindsay Christine M. And yeah, I'm having a baby girl. <laughs> I will never say I know for sure what I'm having again because I thought for sure it was a boy and it's a girl. So yay. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Check out my Instagram picture. I love you and uh, stay tuned for the baby girl clothing haul.